Ash, we're here on the Robo Job Stand at EMO 2023. Who is this behind us? So this is a collaborative solution from RoboJob. Uh, historically, we've only ever offered uh, industrial robots, but this puts us into a new market. How long, have you, how long has RoboJob been developing this concept? This has been developed for a couple of years now, um, but however, they've just started to do installations. We're seeing more and more hit the field in, particularly uh, in Europe. Who is investing in this type of technology? Generally, the collaborative robot is seen as an entry level to uh, in, in sort of automation. So we, we find that the people with uh, smaller components, lighter weight components, will be looking at examples like this where you just simply want to put a part in and take it out. How easy is it to set up? Because I know they're quite user friendly, aren't they? Yeah, so the RoboJob systems have been developed for over sort of 12 to 15 years now. So the software is really, really easy to use and well developed. Uh, we find that you can set up a part in minutes. Is it movable? Can you transfer it? Yep, so if you look on, the, if we can show some shots of the underside of it, you'll see that you can get a pump truck on it and you can move it from machine to machine nice and easily. And because it is a collaborative solution, it doesn't need guarding, floor scanners, light curtains, it stands free. So if you touch him, it will stop. I'm just about to touch him because as we said, there's no actual like lasers or anything like that. So if I just touch him like that, it stops. So how, we, how easy is it to get it back up and run it? So you've got the play button there, just hit the play as button. As easy as this? Yeah, yeah. So that is so user friendly. We've got a setup here that's basically a lathe setup, right? How easy is it to transfer over to milling? Very easy. So if you look at this example here, on the robot itself, it's got two heads, so two three-jaw chucks, one for the raw part, one for the finished part, and it's got the proven shunt grippers on it that you have serrations that you just bring them in and suit sort of a smaller to a larger diameter part. But Yes, if you wanted to go from turning to million, you just simply change that head. Have you seen the industry developing and uh, customers wanting more cobots like this? Yeah, we're, we're, we're seeing the projection of collaborative robots really be something quite big for the future. And if, if we're not in that game, uh, then yeah, we can't compete. But yes, certainly the cobots are, are going to be something which pulls through a, a, a lot of installations, yeah.